I used to wanna be a gangster, you know? I always live by that code, I ain't never gonna rat on no nigga. A nigga play with me, I'ma dive in they face. But then, you know, I got to see that the game was rigged, you know? All the niggas I looked up to, you know, they really wasn't what they said they was. I kinda feel cheated. I felt cheated for a long time, but I learned to cope with that. And like I say, I love life. I love being a great father. I love making great music. I could talk about the days I wanted to be a gangster, but that shit doesn't matter, you know? Many are called and only a few get chosen in this game, but I can stand on the fact that I'm one of them chosen ones. My name is Noor Dean, Noor Dean Kadir. Um, we're in Minnesota right now. Just waiting for the show to start, you know. It's only like five o'clock right now. Show's at eight. But yeah, I'm just glad. I'm just glad that you know there's somebody like that that I could personally connect to. Because even his story, if you, his lifetime, if you, he was raised by his grandma, bro. I grew up with my grandma. I never knew my parents. You know, shit like that. Small shit like that. But hey. 
Honestly, I feel I feel way connected to him. It's more than the music as a person. Even not even the music as a person. The music is just fun. That's the fun part. Like partying and shit, shit like that. You can listen to his music. What's his story? His life, like growing up and shit like that. That's what gets people to connect with him a lot. Cause that's why I want. I'd rather see. And instead of saying if Kim Gay says, "Oh, do you guys want a, a project or an interview from you know like a 15 minute interview?" I say an interview, bro. I would rather see him talking, like real life shit. Talking about, you know, his experiences and his stuff. That helps me more, to be honest. And the music, I mean, I love the music, but I'll buy the music any day, still. But yeah, I would rather see his interview, 15 minute interview than a project. I bought a brick from Gustavo, now I'm looking out for the Baku. Bought a crib in Morocco You should've just let me have you I could've made you so happy But I don't do second chances Everything, man, what happened? Elvis said you can't sing rock and roll and not just move He said he didn't realize he was doing it I feel like he did a little bit, yeah. you know. But look, I'm not a fan of Elvis the singer. I'm okay. a fan of Elvis the actor. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I like when he was in that movie Blue Hawaii. Okay, yeah. Chadwick Gates. That was a good movie. We have the car from Blue Hawaii. We got the Jeep from Blue Hawaii. Yeah, we got I want to take a picture in it. Good. Well, I don't know if we can do that in it. Do that. Go you, get can, the key. you can stand by it. I ain't going to get the key. Right. How much it costs? Yeah, I'm Elvis right house, boy. Right. So we're gonna go over a little history before we move inside, give the people inside a little bit of a chance to move around. So a couple things, this home was built in 1939. Elvis came in 57 to purchase it. He spent uh, just a little over $100,000 for the home and the land at the time. What? Yeah, you can't even get the land for that, 102,000. He was 22 years old at the time. So Graceland, in case you were wondering, the name Graceland did not come from Elvis. The Man, original homeowners, they named it Graceland. I know. 22, look, I was, couldn't do nothing. I'm still my mom at 22, you know. So Elvis had all of this. What's really funny when you guys go inside, you know, you see the pillows and you see the little vases and stuff and you think his designer picked all that out. That was Elvis. He would pick out the throw pillows. He was rearranging furniture, all that kind of stuff. So it's all purely Elvis. And then his bedroom is at the top right up there. Hey, where he died at? Right up there, in the back. So the house haunted? <laughs> so I never had any. Yeah, pressure! Having my way with the money, love? Nah, my muscles just gonna tighten up when they get a little cold. Having my way with the money, yeah, that shit keep coming and coming. Coming and coming. Been through the stack, I get rack on the rack, I keep dumbing and dumbing. Dumbing and dumbing. I did a show, got a case on the road, I ain't running from nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta start singing rock and roll. Fuck that. Uh, get you your own, you, you know, get your own plan, your own. We're just waiting on the green light. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I had to. I, I love Elvis. Yeah, I heard you had an Elvis tattoo. I, I didn't know. know that. Okay. I got his face on my chest. Right okay. Yep. Yeah, we see. A, we get a lot of Elvis tattoos. It's funny. You see, you know, like old grandmas. They be having like big old Elvis tattoos. They got them all over. It's so funny. <laughs> That's what made fight. me get on them. Like my grandmother used to watch. Used to watch the movies and stuff. All the movies with him in it, mm -hmm. and he was a black belt in karate and shit. Yeah. Two black belts. Yep. So I was like, what the fuck. And then his last night was Gates, so that's what made right. it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Blue Hawaii was a good one. He liked that one. He liked his last movie, King Creole. Hey. But really though, what I got the tattoo was, there used to be a stamp in the middle of the bitch when I used to get the things in. The Elvis face on up. I ain't like the one with George Bush stamp. I like the one with Elvis. <laughs> Bust, so right now you got the kitchen. Yeah, we got you the same the water. Bitch, you got a refrigerator in really got nothing in it yeah, we on MTV bus. Yeah, yeah, you know, we in the back right here chilling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we chill, you know, play video games, hey, shit, you know, talk shit. Hey, 
That's your car though. Fuck your car though. I'm going back to the uh, Yeah, so empty bus. What's it like living in these shows of bunk? Shit, man. Hey. You close them curtains, it's dark as shit. You can't see nothing. I think I think they got a little they got a little TV in there though. You can watch me and shit. Some shit like that. Whoa, what do we have oh. here? What do we have here? Exquisite. Uh, Exquisite, marvelous. This is marvelous. This is my friend. Uh, by the way, this is my friend. His name is uh, Ronald. I'm from London. Sir Ronald the yes. Third. Yes. A marvelous man of distinguished. I'm from London. That bitch ain't British. from no motherfucking London. <laughs> Who not from London? Look at that me. Look that at nigga me. was 16 <laughs> years old with a camera, running from his motherfucking mom, and I hopped in the back of the fucking sprinter. The nigga used to be a cameraman. The nigga was a rapper. The nigga make blogs. You heard me? The niggas a motherfucking internet geek. Nobody ain't fuck around with their computer. You understand what I'm saying? The nigga is a rapper. Got cold blooded lyrics. You know what I'm saying? What else is this nigga? The nigga shoot videos. This nigga do every motherfucking thing. You understand? He come back from the green room with the Gatorade. He do it all, bitch. You know? you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that bitch went to Miami. You know what I'm saying? Settled down, made a baby, and got a girlfriend. He's a different type of nigga, man. He's a different breed. Then the bitch went to Baton Rouge and put some diamonds in his mouth. You understand what I'm saying? They came back and smiled and tried to fucking shine on me. But I had that big brick. Yeah. These noodles have a pH balance of 9.8. The water, the water that marinate in my noodles is uh, two miles deep. Geothermal single source from Mother Nature bottle in Idaho. I know the nigga that got it. His name is Todd or some shit like that. You understand? You've not been to Idaho your motherfucking life. I've been to Idaho three times and you was you know, this is the I, <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't, you can't go wrong with this right here. Noodles, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, you can eat that bread for lunch and motherfucking dinner. How much they? I think they went two dollars. Shit, not even. Probably with ninety nine cents. Yeah. For the whole week, you'll be stacked up, racked up. Is that new bait to the niggas in the bed? We got kids trying to make sure that they fed. I get sick, go to getting rid of me. Hollow world, call them up and out of bed. Don't know how many times I done been to say Don't know how many times I prayed and bumped my head You know what it is That shit out there with niggas, man, look, check this out I give the people what the fuck they want People do not want to stand up and just be st stood there, you heard me? They won't be known that they're part of this shit you feel me so i let it be known you know when you when i come out it's not a peaceful show if you a bitch ass nigga you know how to read it's four fucking letters it's called exit you know you can hit that motherfucker get the fuck on out of here because everybody in my show is gangster, dog. You can believe that. Everybody. They have haters that's at that bitch. They be standing up going this hill. I, you know, I gotta turn them out, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm like this. When I say credit, y'all say credit.
Jeans, but hey, we're a long way away from that now, baby. <laughs> 